solving multi-step equations. When you look at these equations here, they look a little bit overwhelming. It seems like there's a lot of stuff going on. Something like b plus 18 plus 3b equals 74, or 0 equals 9 times the quantity k minus 2 thirds plus 33. The trick with multi-step equations is you have to do some stuff before you actually start undoing. The goal is still to isolate the variable. That will always be the ultimate goal. However, with some e equations, you have to do some cleaning up before you can start undoing. So step one for the how to is to clean up each side of the equal sign. This goes back to what you learned in simplifying algebraic expressions about combining like terms and using the distributive property. Really, if you look at an equation, it's two expressions set equal to each other. The expression 2x, 2 times the quantity x plus 4 plus 6, and the expression 22. They're set equal to each other. And you're going to simplify both sides and then do your undoing. This may be done with combining like terms on each side or using the distributive property to eliminate parentheses. And that's where we're going to start here. I'm going to show how the distributive property applies. 2 is going to be multiplied by each term on the inside. 2 times 4 is 2x plus 2 times, I'm, I said 2 before there, 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 4 is 8. And then copy down the rest of the equation. I need to combine some like terms. You can look and see that there are not any other x terms. So 2x is going to go ahead and come down. However, I have two constants on the same side of the equal sign, 8 and 6. They combine to be 14. Yes, 22 is a constant, but I cannot combine 22 with those unless I undo. They are stuck on each side of the equal sign. The only way I can move a term from one side to the other is by undoing, which comes in with step two. Undo what's happening to the variable. I'm going to undo adding 14 by subtracting 14 on both sides. It cancels. 2x comes down. 22 minus 14 is 8. And then x is being multiplied by 2. I'm going to undo that by dividing by 2 on both sides. And then x equals 4. You can still check your solution in your head. Put um, 4 back into the original equation. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 2 is 22. Here are a couple more examples. With 7n minus 1 minus 2n equals 14. We're going to combine our like terms. I'm going to start with 7n and look for other terms that have an n in there. Negative 1 is not a like term, but negative 2n is a like term. I'm going to combine those. 7n and negative 2n give me 5n. Then copy down the rest of the equation. It reads 5n minus 1 equals 14. It's all simplified. I'm ready to start undoing and isolating the variable. Undo the subtraction first by adding 1 to both sides. Those cancel. 5n equals 15. I'm going to undo multiplying by 5 by dividing by 5 on both sides. n equals 3. Put that back into the original equation. I'm going to kind of jot them down here above. 7 times 3 is 21 minus 1 minus 2 times 3 is 6. And I'm going to see if that equals 14. 21 minus 1 is 20. 20 minus 6 is 14, so that checked out. So it may be that you kind of do your check on your equations just like I've done there. It's not the full-fledged substituted in, but this is a little bit complicated to do completely in your head. Coming over to the second one. 3 times the quantity z minus 1 plus 8 equals 14. 
Since I have those parentheses, I need to use the distributive property to get rid of them. So I'm going to multiply 3 times z, which is 3z, minus 3 times 1 is 3. Now I can combine like terms. 3z doesn't have any like terms, but negative 3 and positive 8 are like terms. They're my constant, so I can combine those. Negative 3 and positive 8 is positive 5. Bring down the rest of the equation around it. Now it's a two-step equation. Much more comfortable with that. I'm going to undo adding by subtracting. Fives cancel, 3z comes down, equals 14 minus 5 is 9. z is being multiplied by 3. I'm going to undo that on both sides by dividing by 3. z equals 3. And let's plug that back in to make sure it works. Put 3 in for z. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. That checks out. Try these practice problems and then we'll compare our work. Okay, looking at practice A first, you can see where I box my like terms, negative x and a positive 14x. They have the same variable to the same power. Combine their coefficients, this is like a negative 1 and a positive 14 gives you positive 13. Bring down the rest of the equation. So it reads 13x minus 8 equals negative 34. Undo subtracting 8 by adding 8 to both sides. Those cancel. 13x comes down. That equals negative 34 plus 8 is negative 26. I undid the dividing. I'm sorry, undid the multiplying by dividing by 13 on both sides. Cancels there. X comes down. Negative 26 divided by 13 is negative 2. Put that back into the original equation. So this is how it would substitute in for the check. Since that is a negative x already, it would be negative, negative 2. Minus 8 plus 14 times negative 2 equals, we're trying to see if that equals, negative 34. Negative, negative 2. That's like a negative 1 times negative 2. They cancel out, so that's a positive 2 minus 8 
plus 12 times negative 2 is negative 28. Let's see, that equals negative 34. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus negative 28 is negative 34. And that checks out. Coming over to practice B. I hope you didn't look at it and get scared and just say, oh, I can't do that. Hope you at least attempted it. The original problem is in black. 1 fourth A minus 12 over 8 equals 4. We're going to undo this dividing by 8 by multiplying by 8. And what that does is it keeps it from being a two-story problem and it makes it a one-story problem. And if you can see how that came down in red, the numerator comes down. 1 over 4a minus 12 equals 4 times 8 is 32. Yes, it seems that I did the SADMIP order of operations backwards out of order. Um, I can show you how I did the distributive property to rename it, and then I showed that I was undoing parentheses. If you're interested in that, come see me, and I will definitely be glad to prove that to you. But to spare the rest of you that would just rather take my word for it, I didn't put that in the video. So the problem reads negative 4a minus 12 equals 32. I'm going to undo subtracting 12 by adding 12 to both sides. So that comes down in blue. This cancels. Negative, I'm sorry, not negative. 1 fourth a equals 44. I'm going to undo this 1 fourth. It's multiplying by a fourth by dividing by a fourth. And we know from dividing fractions that dividing by 1 fourth is the same thing as multiplying by a fourth. So I multiply by 4 on both sides. Those cancel there. A comes down. 44 times 4. I multiplied that over here on the side, and you get 176. And go ahead and put that in there to check. Put it back in the original equation, which is written in black there. 1 fourth times 164. That's like dividing 176. I'm sorry. Put 176 in there. That's like dividing by 4. And I can look down here. I multiply. That's going to take me back to 44. So 44 minus 12 is 32. 32 divided by 8 is 4, which matches up. Practice B is about as difficult as it's going to get with this lesson. So don't get freaked out if you weren't able to follow all that. There may be one, maybe two questions like that on your homework. It's going to be more stuff like what practice A is. A little bit of distributive property. Do not get scared by practice B. But I wanted to show you what would be the most difficult thing on the video so you are confident and ready for the assignment. Good luck.